Ugh, so bored. We're here to do tech. We're gonna do tech. I know. I'll do some tech news. I just said what? Shut up, Riley. In 2015, Google restructured itself to be just one of many subsidiaries under a new parent company, Alphabet Inc. Alphabet was headed up by Google's co-founders, while Google was now led by the former head of Android. Jesus. Well now, they're basically the same again. Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the now former CEO and president of Alphabet, respectively, have stepped down, while Google's CEO, Sundar Pichai, has stepped up to also fill the role of Alphabet's new CEO. In a blog post, Page and Brin say that going forward, Pichai will lead Google and manage Alphabet's other subsidiaries. So it's, it's all Google, again, kinda. It's not clear whether the change will make all of Alphabet's various projects make more or less sense. I mean, the company is so confused that they just made Google Photos into a chat app. And, and what is YouTube music? What is wrong with Google Play music? I just, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. A less interesting company, Qualcomm has announced, <laughs> just joking, Qualcomm has announced some new mobile tech at the company's annual Snapdragon Tech Summit. The successor to the ubiquitous Snapdragon 855 is the Snapdragon 865. Man, I was hoping to have my expectations inserted there, but the 865 will of course be faster and more efficient than the 855, but will also have 5G connectivity thanks to a new X55 modem inside of it. But the more interesting announcement from yesterday might be the low powered 765. Unlike the 865, the 765 has its X52 modem directly integrated into the chip, ensuring better power management and wider distribution of 5G tech among mid-range or budget phones. There's also a 765G variant, which will apparently have better performance in games. That's the G stands for, uh, what is it? For games, okay. But the event wasn't all chip announcements. Qualcomm also showed its second gen fingerprint scanner called 3D Sonic Max because it's bigger and you can put two thumbs on it. Really? So, so if you get captured by the mafia and they cut off both your thumbs and you're <laughs> you're not a happy guy anymore. <laughs> Who has two thumbs and is happy right now? Not this guy. <laughs> But you know what's not smart, potentially? Buying a folding phone from famed drug lord Pablo Escobar's brother, Roberto Escobar. This reads like an SNL skit, but apparently it's real. Escobar Inc. is selling what looks like a modified version of the Royale FlexPie folding tablet thing that we saw at CES last year for a measly 349 US dollars. And it's even got decent specs with a Snapdragon 855, six or eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD card slot, cha-ching, and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Honestly, the sketchiest thing about this phone is just the marking that they're using to sell it, which involves a healthy dose of gold, guns, and models in lingerie. Very cool. I, I think I think I've already ordered one, actually. We have, yeah. Oh, uh, does it come with the gold? No, no. no gold, okay. Now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you by FreshBooks, the cloud accounting solution. FreshBooks mobile app allows you to work anywhere so you can create professional looking invoices on the go, snap pictures of your receipts, and stay on top of important conversations. Plus, you'll never miss an update with the ability to see when a client has viewed their invoice or when an invoice has become overdue. And it's time to chop off some thumbs. <laughs> this again? Don't do that. <laughs> but do start your 30 day trial right now at freshbooks.com forward slash tech link. Check it out at the link below. Hey, come on, I need some beats in here. <laughs> some beats. Beats. I'm a beats, Spanish. Beats. Beats. I need your finest beats. <laughs> The latest problem users are having with MacBook Pros has nothing to do with the keyboard. Imagine that, some 13 inch MacBook Pros from 2019 are shutting down when they reach 50% battery. And Apple has now acknowledged the issue, telling affected users to run their laptop battery to below 90%, plug it in, quit all open apps, then let the machine sleep and charge it for at least eight hours, then spin around in a bathroom mirror saying Bloody Mary three times. What is this? <laughs> Apparently they have no idea whether or not that will work and they're just throwing stuff at the wall to see if it sticks. Try it, you might as well. Multiple rumors have pointed to the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S11 having the ability to record 8K video for some reason. XDA developers have found reference to the feature a short while ago and now inside sources have told Sam Mobile that it's legit. Plus, the new Snapdragon 865 supports 8K video, so I guess next year we won't need red cameras at all. What do you think, David? Whatever. Researchers at MIT have developed an AI system called ADEPT, which you could also read as 
adept. It can understand some laws of physics in the same way as a human infant, a child. It's even able to register surprise when a virtual object disappears unexpectedly or passes through another object. I want a baby robot. Yeah. I want a baby robot Yoda. You can just turn them off. China isn't known for loving gaming consoles, but that could change as Nintendo has partnered with Chinese gaming mega company Tencent to launch what is officially called the Tencent Nintendo Switch, official mainland China version, for the equivalent of 300 US dollars. Even when they launch a two and a half year old console in a country that hates consoles, Nintendo keeps the same price tag. And for that, I respect them, bastards. And we can't talk about China without talking about Huawei, who is apparently entering the desktop PC market with a motherboard designed to run the company's ARM-powered Kungpen, Kung, Kunpeng, Kun, Kunpeng server, Kunpeng, Kunpeng server processors. The board has decent connectivity options, including DDR4 DIMMs and PCI 3.0 slots. And between this development and Huawei's new Mate 30 Pro having no US components, it seems like Huawei is, is sitting pretty. Trade war or no? You go, Huawei. Just stay away from me. And it's time for me to stay away from you, the audience. At least until the next episode, anyway. Come back on Friday for more tech news. Hopefully, the restraining order is lifted by then. Yeah, is, it, are, is that okay? Are you doing for you, you can get closer to me at that point. Stay if there. I I would take a step back, you come forward one. Nope. Let's do it uh, like we're have a, a tether. Uh, penis. penis. Whoa, whoa. <laughs>